The Patriots have fallen to two and four on the season. I'm Mariah Janos, joined by Evan Lazar. Evan, what are your biggest concerns that you have about Cam at this point? Well, I think it's two buckets, right? One of them is sort of the mechanical bucket, which I have talked about a lot on Twitter. I've written a lot about of him not stepping into his throws, throwing with his feet parallel to the line of scrimmage and breaking the chain, which means that he's losing all of the power from his lower body and his core and his throws and really just relying on his arms. So you have that throw early on in the game to Demir Bird along the sideline. Demir Bird just stops his route down. He's wide open right there at eight yards for a first down and Cam throws it three yards short of the mere bird into the dirt. That's not because Cam Newton can't throw a fastball anymore. It's because of his mechanics and his footwork. Just you got to watch the feet and watch the platform which he's throwing with. So that's something that I think over time with repetition, he might be able to get out of his system and get into a more cleaner throwing base that we saw in weeks one and two of the season before he had the long layoff due to COVID. So that one is one bucket. The second bucket is decision-making and processing speed. I think that this one's a little bit more troublesome because this is an offense that is predicated on timing. If you have receivers that are running routes that they're going to be open for a second and then they're going to run into coverage and they're going to be covered, right? And it's up to the quarterback to get the ball out on time time to anticipate openings to see the field well that's this offense you know you can ask Tom Brady you can ask Jimmy Garoppolo you can ask Matt, Matt Castle Brian Hoyer you know any of the quarterbacks over the last 20 years that have played in this system will tell you if you don't get the ball out on time then you know the oper- window of opportunity closes really quickly in the NFL so I think bucket number one mechanics are fixable I think with Jed Fish and Josh McDaniels drilling those into him over the next couple of weeks of practice, they'll be able to get him into a much cleaner throwing base. The decision-making and the processing speed, I think, is a little bit of a round hole in a square peg situation where maybe he's just not the best system fit for what McDaniels wants to run. Now, how much slack do we cut him with what he's working with with the offense, you know, his lack of weapons at this point? Definitely a lot, but what I look at it is this way. I I look at scheme throws versus playmaking, right? So playmaking is when, you know, Patrick Mahomes runs around for five seconds and then throws off his back foot 60-yard dime to McCole Hardman for a touchdown. That's playmaking, right? And I'm not expecting Cam Newton to make plays like that. What I'm expecting Cam Newton to do is hit the ones where Josh McDaniels and the scheme present an open receiver to him. For instance, the throw early on in yesterday's game to Demir Bird on that crossing route where he's coming across the field. The scheme presented an opportunity for Cam to have a wide open throw and the ball sails over Demir Bird's head. So that's why I'm tough on Cam is because I, I consider him, you know, capable, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, to hit those scheme throws, to hit the one, the easy ones, the layups. You have to make those. It's like a basketball player hitting his free throws. You know, you, those are the simple ones that you got to make. And when you struggle with the easy ones, then you can't even discuss the hard ones because we're not even at that point yet. So To me, yes, the reason why he's not making great downfield throws, big time throws down the field, big explosive plays is because of the lack of playmakers around him and the skill talent. But that's no excuse to go ahead and miss wide open receivers and sail balls over people's heads and miss those scheme situational system throws that he's just got to make as any NFL quarterback would have to make. So that's where the excuse bucket runs out for me with Cam is that you have to be able to make the easy ones. I call them layups. Those are layups in the quarterback of any team. Any of the 32 teams has to be able to hit those ones. Absolutely. For all of our Patriots coverage, head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass.